And we've got the Jurassic Park electronic Dilophosaurus with detachable neck frill. This was one of the figures that made me so jealous as a kid. I never got this as a kid. But I remember just coveting this thing. And it is pretty awesome. But it's not accurate. So we gonna fix that. Ooh, gotta get a shot of the cool logo though, with the little Dilo head. I believe it was JP11, and it still works, I believe. Ha! That's too fun. Okay, let's prime her up. Okay, primer's all set. This thing's got really great balance, especially considering how small that tail is right there. But yeah, primer set on both the dilo and the frill. And here we are with a few hues added back in. Just some creams and salmonies and starting with that. A sea foam color right there, starting with the greens. Some fleshy pebbling on the neck. Okay, and just keep going from lightest to dark and till we get to the finished show. Get a little reddish hues in there in the eye socket. At this point, I'm just going over all the patterning with white. You can see I've started this side, but I haven't touched this side yet. You can see all the slight hues of browns and different greens I've used. At least I hope it shows up. So yeah, it's just a matter of doing the whites and then the inside of the mouth. I still haven't done, but it's coming along pretty good. I'm liking it a lot. I'm trying to paint its mouth and The sound does not shut off. I haven't done the teeth yet. I doubt you heard that. I said I haven't done the teeth yet, but I did start on the frill. I used this spray enamel. So maybe they'll give it a more vinyl-y look.
And here we are, looking gorgeous. All the final touches have been laid in place. She's done been washed. I think that's his final look as we're getting. Now I just gotta finish up that little neck frill right there and we will have completed the electronic Dino Screams Dilophosaurus. And of course, I did the eye paint. Love the black light paint. Super cool. Wait, where'd he go? What am I doing? Okay, there we are. Woohoo. So that's pretty cool. I'm using the Jurassic World Owen clicker. And there we are, Bebs. If you ever wonder what the back of the frill looks like, and there you are. So the damnedest thing happened. My Facebook has completely vanished, been absolutely deleted. And what this means is I can no longer update or post on my Jurassic Art and Customs Facebook page. So, until Site B is launched, you're gonna have to just get a hold of me in the comments on here. So, thanks for watching. Haven't been ignoring you, just haven't been able to get into my Facebook because it's not there anymore. Yay!